Hi goals, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do another DIY. I don't know if you guys have seen this brand called Scoot or something like that, but there's this satchel like over the shoulders bag that you could wear that has this cool see-through, I'll put the picture right here, that has like this see-through window that has another little bag inside. I fell in love with that bag, but I don't have $300 to spend on a purse. So I thought of why don't I make a little DIY for you guys on how you can make this purse right here on make it your own style change it up a bit but it's a cool I just thought of a cool DIY project for this to make this purse because I have so many scraps of other purses I got some of these pieces to make this DIY of this purse from thrift stores but the majority of the pieces that I have already were scraps from other DIY projects that I've done in the past so I just put them all together or you can make this cheaper version of the Scoot designer bag. And you don't have to spend that much money. You can find things around your house. You can go to thrift stores and find some of these pieces. And also you can find some of them at your local craft store as well. But this is all little knickknacks that I have gathered throughout the years or pieces that I have left over from other projects. I want to thank you Ghouls for coming back to my channel and continuing to show your support and please don't forget to hit the button down below to subscribe and give it a thumbs up so I can continue to bring you guys cool new fun projects especially these fun DIYs where I like to remake or redo some of like the expensive designer stuff for you guys to have it at home like, but still make it kind of your own style. Any chance you get it's really cool to remake some of the designer things out there because you can make it your own style. You could give it that little, make it a little different and make it your personal style. So here we go, I'm going to show you goals how to make this version of this Scoot designer bag to fit your own personal style. So what you girls would need is a bag. I had this bag left over. I used it as a small wallet to carry makeup or something. It's like a small makeup bag. So I have this as the main bag. And then I I would use this as a small wallet. I had this like fluorescent looking little bag that it, and we could use this little bag to insert it inside to make it look like it's that floating bag that it has in the scoop bag and then I had this strap left over from an old bag that got torn so I saved the strap so we could use this as a strap to put it around the bag and then you'll need markers for you could design the designs outside of the bag I'm using permanent markers to add that little difference to it and then to be more creative, you guys could use puff paint and some of the lettering to make, give it more of that texture. And then a glue gun. You will, guys will also need a glue gun. And I had these pieces left over from an, from an old purse that I took apart. It was like an old wallet that fell apart. So I took it apart and I cut it into two pieces where I could use them as like the windows or the front and the back of the purse. So you're gonna need the glue gun for you can stick this transparent fabric because it's kind of like plastic, this floor, like this transparent fabric or plastic thing onto the front and the back of this purse. And you'll also need a pair of scissors and, and a ruler and a pen for you to calculate where you're going to be cutting the window. So let's get started.
have finished gluing on the front and then the back pieces of the transparent vinyl with the glue gun, you could go ahead and grab any permanent marker, whichever color you want to use. And you can go ahead and write any type of words or lettering or designs that you want to put in the front. I put the word witch. I don't know if you guys can see with the C on which I made it into like a crescent moon with puffy paint. And then I outlined it with the silver permanent marker. I did it on both sides and I did it all the way around the design of the word witch. So you guys could put any type of words, any design, however you want to do it, any color. I decided to go with this. And then once you're done with the gluing and then writing the words, you get any type of little bag that you have, like a wallet or anything. So we're just going to insert any type of wallet you want to use. You could you put it in inside. Excuse the noise in the background, it's my air conditioner going off. But once you guys are done putting in the names, like any design or anything you want on the bag, and once you put in the little wallet, I put in the wallet, I don't know if you guys can see it in there, the little transparent wallet I put inside. You'll go ahead and grab the straps that you want of your choice. Doesn't matter what kind of straps as long as it has like the hooks on the side. Hooks on the side for you could hook it on to the edge of the bag. And there you have it. You have your own version of your scoop bag. Or should I say for mine, it's going to be my witchy bag. But yeah, I kind of like how this came out. This is super exciting. I did not know that it was going to come out this good. But this is really cool. I love how it came out. So this is my version of the scoop bag. It is so cool when you can make it something and give it your own twist. I love that bag so much. I will eventually get it one day. One day I'm gonna get you scoop bag. But I love that bag so much that I wanted to make my own version of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Here's a closer look. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare, but there's the word I wrote the word witch in the front and then you can see the floaty bag inside and in the back as well. You can see the word witch. I'm excited to use this bag. This is gonna be like my new go-to bag. I love it. I love the way it turned out. It's so cool and it wasn't that expensive to make because I, because I used things that I had around the house, what I had left over in my past project and just belts and this little purse thing that I, this silver bag, I found it at a thrift store in the kids section. It's amazing what you could create with things that you find around the house or just leftover things that you could recycle them and make them look brand new into something different. And I love making these kinds of DIYs because it revamps and it makes something look, it gives it your own unique style. So I hope you guys enjoy this DIY of making your own crossbody bag that resembles the scoop designer bag. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me showing you how you can revamp anything or just be creative with anything you find and make it brand new again and please don't forget to subscribe hit that button down below make sure to comment and like I want to thank all of you ghouls that continue to give me the love and the support to continue to do what I love purchasing my merchandise and my products that I make on my website Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank all of you for all the love and the support and the help because it means the world to me. And please don't forget to comment down below if you guys have any more ideas or topics me and my sister could talk about on our podcast as well. So I'll link it down below, the link to our podcast because me and my sister have created a podcast channel as well. And I want to thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you next time, ghouls. Bye!